that also turned on the security cameras. All right. Well, that's fine. Should be able to get through here now. Luckily, this hasn't been too hard. Like, this is more of a game about learning and lore than any, like, super challenge, which I actually really enjoy. I don't really enjoy horror games when I'm constantly being hunted. I've said this before, but I, I'll maintain it. One of my least favorite moments of Outlast, and that's part of the reason why I didn't like Soma, was because the, uh, the... It was the psychologist that cuts your fingers off. There was a point where I was, like, stuck in a hospital, and I was trying to figure my way out, like, how to get it away. It was 100%, like, one of those frustrating situations where... I was trying so hard to, like, get away and get past, uh, but I couldn't find how to leave, and he kept finding me no matter where I hid, and it was just kind of stupid, because I just kept running, and I think we spent, like, half an hour doing it, and eventually I was just like, bleh. Like, it's just stress and not fun, whereas this is creepy and interesting, and yeah, they do have a couple of running segments, but they have been, like, three times tops? this entire time, and most of them are very, very slow, which, I don't know, I, re I really dig. Anyway. This message is displayed in the event of a catastrophic system failure or attack on this facility by an unknown, possibly transdimensional entity. If you're reading this, all doors are locked, and sensitive materials protected by blast shielding due to heightened security measures. This extra security is an effort to protect any sensitive information by from being collected, and also from you. Please be aware that NDK-13 advanced bipedal android models are de designated for excavation and transport functionality and thus have the internal hydraulic capacity to emulate and carry over a thousand kilograms. Well, an admittedly impressive engineering feat, during a level 4 threat, their primary logic function is overridden and will employ lethal force as needed. To avoid injury or death, seek out the nearest Manticore approved panic shelter. There are currently zero shelter facilities in your area. Warning, level 4 security protocol, all personnel access restricted, Z pathogen detected, emergency protocol enacted, containment procedures activated, overseer console, over, overseer console override required, security disabled. Oh, I saw that robot leg and it scared the shit out of me. I was almost expecting a robot to just be hanging out there, creeping. I would take that, like, creep baton. The hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> Must be Volkova's lab. Smells like gasoline and fertilizer. It's completely wrecked. No, Ferg. It's a weird goop spine. Wait. Yeah, it's a spine covered in black and some weird frog. It looks like it was dissected first and then hooked up. Do not stand on the goop. The goop is deadly. Well, I'm just going to... Hello! I'm gonna let that calm first. Oh, it's like spreading. I wonder if that might actually be interdimensional to some degree. I begin with rhizoma DNA, the possibility of creating decades worth of mangrove tree root networks within days or even hours and the ability to control their patterns. One could weave a root network that could protect a whole eroding coastlines from waves and storms. Today I made my first intro introduction between rhizora and Z-Path. It's the first time I've smiled in a long time. The warmth burns my cheeks. Progress is exponential with access to real equipment. Keeping my excursions minimal to preserve secrecy is a necessary evil, I suppose. Dr. Van Buren continues to assist in the greenhouse. He may be suspicious of my sudden focus on plant growth formula, but he remains preoccupied with protocols and fail-safes. The places Z-Path can take us are boundless. I believe it's the key to reaching a place where we can swap sequences of prokaryotic cells, bacteria, and eukaryotic cells, plant, and animal, as freely as a weaver splices threads on a loom. As the rhizoma feeds, the Z-Path grows more comfortable. I recognize the improper terminology, but it's clear. Its movements are less erratic. 
It breathes calmly, slowly. The roots expand at a constant rate. The leaves extend and flex. Reactions to magnetic pulses are less severe. The metamorphosis is fascinating. Today I moved my hand. I reached out for an instrument that wasn't within my reach. I'm unsure as to why. There was no scientific impulse or protocol for it. Possibly sleep deprivation? I reached to pick up a laser diode five feet away as naturally as it were in my back pocket. But it wasn't in my hand. The it wasn't my hand that grasped the instrument, it was the Z-Path. Two thin tendrils extended outward from the Valerian Blossom to scoop it up. The tendrils swiftly curved and extended through the air, then deposited the diode in, in my hand and retreated. The Valerian, unable to extend as quickly, altered its stem structure, growing a thin vine-like piece which drooped to the counter as the tendrils receded again. I'll attempt this experiment again tomorrow once I've rested. Even my sensibilities have limits, and I question whether I dreamed the entire event. Infected mice, the enlightened specimen, the Z-Path makes them grow stronger, just like the mangrove tree. They voraciously search for food, their forms surprisingly similar, less chaotic than the others. The protuberances extend outward from their mouths. Their ligaments contort beneath their skin as they stand bipedal. Am I creating them? They resemble sunflowers, seed-like teeth, and slithering petals. They crave my affection, demand my attention like children, like pets. Did they snarl at Lucas when he kissed me? N not in front of the kids, I said. But are they not my children? Are they not all my children? The Rhizora. Oh, Rhizophora. The Valerian. Sol Solanum. Lyco. Persic Persicium. Or Persicum? Amophilia. Briviol. Ulada. Jesus. Mus musculus. They all have... They have all shared in my blood. Sucked the sweat from the tips of my fingers. I tell them how to grow, and they stretch outward to the infinite. The connection is undeniable. Betrayal. The Z-Path spoke to me today. Not in words, but I felt as it moved along the walls of Argus. I could taste the metal on my tongue as it slithered into the cracks between the seams. I told it to stop and it obeyed, patiently waiting for me to descend in the elevator. My daughter was excited to see me. It wanted to show me something. A computer monitor flashed and I saw Dr. Van Buren standing over the roots of the mangrove, injecting a serum into it, and my body shuddered as the Z-Path trembled. How could he betray me us like this? We will make him suffer for this. She grows so fast. Rhizophora, my child. She was so hungry today. The blood meal was not enough. Her teeth are so sharp against the flesh of my breast. I nursed her for an hour. My head swims. A new project. I've made my decision. I can't understand why I hesitated so long. Why did I allow them to control me? I will escape this prison. Orochi seeks to contain me. Lucas destroys my children. The walls themselves betray me, moving closer, stifling my work. This frail human body betrays me. Tired, sleepless, the muscles ache and twist, circulatory and nervous system trembling, so I can feel my heartbeat shuddering. My plants feel the vibrations, vibrations that travel on our vectors, or on vectors our feeble senses have yet to even discover. They call out to me, my children. It's already begun. My child, I touched its hand, and the blackness encircled my wrist. The Z-Path swirled into my system, and it speaks to me in tones. It beckons me to the mangrove tree, and there we will embrace. Together we will remove all impediments. The work will be glorious. Yeah, so she was giving them blood through her boobs. Gross. Real gross. More murder bots all over the place. Oh boy, I'm probably going to have to run from these things, aren't I? Holy shit, there sure are a lot of them. So wait, I'm curious. I almost, there's a lot in here, by the way. But no, I was going to, wow, this place is actually really impressive looking. I'm almost wondering if the, the witch is, is straight up like the main character's mother, and she knew this was happening and is haunting the shit out of him to save his ass. That thing you saw was a mouse. It might have been a mouse, yeah. Oh boy. Feed recent communications. Uh, let's see. Latest feed update. Alright. Right now we have a job to do, but I count seven bodies, Declan. And when we make it home, and we will make it home, I won't rest until I put a bullet into every single skull responsible for this. 
Declan D, Shane's on it. You weren't serious back there, were you? I'll see what I, what I can find out. Okay, Shane, we made it to the door. Definitely not a Roji. It looks ancient, but they've been here. There's equipment near the base, and there's a strange artifact on a pedestal. If they found a way inside, there's going to be a record of it. Let's go. This can't be real. Josie was right. Volkova knew. Declan, there are layers to this place. An entire complex. I can't believe this was right under our feet. They n knew what Volkova was, was doing was effing dangerous. They didn't care. She didn't care either. You hearing this shit? I'm heading down. Walked by it a hundred times. Declan, there's an elevator in the center of the research lab. The server room has an elevator. Oh, I see. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, so you're hearing this? So, I'm heading down and hearing this shit. The new volcano is dangerous cool. Layers to this place. Josie was right. Volkova knew. This can't be real. Let's go. They found a way inside. There's going to be a record of it. Made it the door. Definitely not a Rochi. I'll see what I can find out. Chain's on it. You weren't serious back there, were you? Yeah. So, I was reading it the wrong direction. So, she's spying on communications. The CEO of Orochi? Holy shit, why is this here? Level X. Go to Icarus. Samuel Chandra. Excavations continue, although process is hampered by drilling equipment shorts and droid malfunctions. Control is authorized an increase in NDK-13 series droid presence. Damaged units have been noti noted, but the continued push has made it necessary to leave these units behind. Current objective is to dis discover the source of a centralized energy anomaly. Recent incident during the infrared mapping, NDK 13.09A reported critical systems failure before complete deactivation. Uh, deactivation. Upon attempted recovery, NDK 1387B video feed displayed the droid shattered to pieces, rendered unsalvageable. Distinct teeth markings, traces of carbon material and saliva, report logged with control. Pure metal marker unresponsive, deterioration renders dating negligible. Potential items here are indistinct, poor quality, analysis of site inconclusive, site closed, assets reassigned to geothermal excavations near Biblis Patera. Additional assets diverted to Site-9 and excavation operations underway. Site-9 has been upgraded to the highest priority. Initial visual inspection shows an expansive entryway, with carvings that suggest a combination of mechanical and hand tooling. The bas-relief murals are carved directly into the natural gneiss and olivine deposits that form the cliff face. Each of the tall columns and pedestals display a detailed frieze Featuring repeated phrases in what appears to be a three-dimensional language structure. M90 Badger 2, dispatched to cave -in near the entrance. X-ray reveals several side tunnels and entryways, which should provide passage to deeper areas. Okay, I think I found what we're looking for. Copy. We're at the device now. The network used an algorithm to brute force a solution. The key requires a high-frequency vibration. Tune your bio-gauge scanner output to 31 kilohertz. Got it. have an activated Martian artifact. We're in business, Shane. Nothing here says what the next step is. Now you got us this far. We'll figure it out from here. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Shane. Dr. Shane Newhart, elite spy operative, taking care of business. Holy shit, how rad would a game be where you're playing co-op? Like, you're playing this game co-op as Declan, Wilcox, and Shane. And so... All you have are three players on separate tracks. Kind of like, uh, honestly, the easy way to describe it would be like, we were here together, or we were we were here, or we were here too. Like, I don't know if you've ever seen those games, but you have one player that's kind of the control that's giving clues to the other one. And, and the other one has to kind of solve the puzzle. But the problem is, in We Were Here, all you're doing is a puzzle. There's no real story to it. There kind of was, but it really wasn't much of anything. Uh, but, like, imagine if this game was three-player or even two-player co-op. And it doesn't have to be. Like, all it would be... Uh, okay, yeah, so I should try We Were Here together. Because we only did uh, We Were Here. And Shell and I are kind of okay at co-op, but, like, I'm a bit imperious and Shell's a little bit uh, unfocused. And the two of us 
work well together in some games, and other games it's just like, uh, holy crap. <laughs> we just bicker instead of actually solving things, and it's kind of bad. Um, but like, how, how freaking rad would it be to play this game with two other people on the radio? And there's only certain points where you can actually talk to the other people to transfer information. And maybe you have a limited window of time, or maybe you don't. Uh, but you have to, like, you know, effectively communicate with the other players. Hey, by the way, you need this thing. And so you're all playing through a converging and diverging story constantly. And sure, you could all just hop in Discord and just, you know, share information constantly. But, like, how rad would that be if you only had, like, short windows where you could talk to the other player and actually discuss things going on and you're trying to, like, say, like, hey, by the way, there's an alien there, or blah, blah, blah. And realistically, I think it would break down. I think it would be harder to make than I'm giving it credit, but it could be really, really rad all the same. So you two do keep talking and nobody explodes would be hilarious. We could try it someday. Uh, we got a couple other co-op games to get through too, but it'd be kind of fun. I don't know. Shell and I need to do more co-op stuff just to work on our, our, uh, our cooperative couple power. And I'm getting more zen about it. It just takes a while. Next April Fools could. Anyway. Scans of the Martian artifact reveal an electromagnetic signature shared between the device and the mechanism of the stone gate. Considering the connection, I accessed the remote control and attempted to discover a wireless connection. First through a or magnetic pulse, then a more standard sonic frequency. A sustained high frequency sound at 31 kilohertz activates the artifact. As suspected, the artifact was simply a password device as a key to open the door. I composed a simple brute force, brute force algorithm to gain entry to the Martian gate. After 12.31 minutes, the door reopened. And there goes lockdown. At some point, these things are going to come after me. I bet. What is this? Declan, I'm standing by a window overlooking a room filled with pods containing androids. I thought it was automated sensors or something, but there must be hundreds of these things on Mars. What are they doing? Everything here. This is the hub of their Mars expansion plans. Wait. Okay, so, oh god, am I gonna have to sneak through this? I hope not. I really don't like stealth segments in games. Nope. I can't move this one. I don't think I have a choice. Just go for it. this Because I absolutely despise stealth segments in anything and everything. There's like one or two games where it's kind of okay. Most of the time... It's just grubbage. And in this, it's actually not so bad. I just don't like it.
Okay. We might be okay. We are not. Okay, so he's going in a loop. What do we have here? Half the robots are just wrecked for some reason. Yeah, this guy just walks in a circle. I'm supposed to get to the other side. He walks in a very tight circle, too. So if I just walk behind him, I should be okay. Yeah, the robot in the corner is a bit suspicious. Suspicious, not very effective. Like, these things are kind of Hilera bad. Still don't like it, would prefer to just kind of keep walking around, but it's fine. At least that was like probably the easiest stealth segment I've ever played in a video game for the most part. But still don't like them. Okay, so we got beds. Can I can I sleep? Why? All right. It looks like multiple people have slept here, or one person has slept here. Uh, two, three, and then s that's some blood. That's a really cool looking treadmill. I can't imagine it's practical or good for your angle ankles. But it is cool. Yeah, so this is living quarters for something. For someone. Weird space toilets are cool too. I don't know, I love future tech. Even if, you know, I will never get to live to see any anything really of this caliber, probably. It's still cool to, like, kind of appreciate. Eh, maybe. Maybe we'll get some weird future tech stuff at some point. Just as a style. What is this thing? It's a sensor? Hmm. Because I can't go this way. What am I missing? See, I looked up those treadmills in the start. They're a real thing. Really? You live in the US, right? You guys still don't even use bidets? Nope. The fact that I probably won't live to see technology like this. I'm kind of mixed feelings on it. I... It would be nice to live in a super far far future situation. Oh, you know what? I'd probably hack that and look for another... What? Oh my god! Yeah, so this is probably the mouse. Was not aware that I was stepping on the bad goop. 
Well, let's just wait to... Let's just wait to... Let's see, this is good. Okay. Yeah, wait to start feeling better before we run out. Not that it's too much of an issue, but still. I'm not even sure if the camera even still matters. Because she got pretty broke. So it wants me to go that way. So let's check this. We bring you the horizon. Alright. Is that a calculator on the desk? It looks like a really old Mom school calculator. By Orochi. They interrogated her. What else are they hiding in this Project Icarus? Did they find her research? Did they find her? I need to know. I don't know, man, but I sure as hell wouldn't stick around long enough to find out. Okay, apologies, Father. The Icarus personnel responsible for the previous email have been relieved. We welcome you to visit Icarus. Uh, we welcome your visit to Icarus and are happy to provide all information. It's not our place to question your intuition. Your clearance has been updated to access the Icarus level of the Trailblazer Alpha Base via the main elevator console. It will not happen again. Okay. So, I will personally make that assessment, as I will per uh, as I will personally make an assessment as to the continued worth of the Icarus project on visitation in two days' time. Perhaps then you can illuminate your me on your position. Without Cynthia Newart's advances in quantum mathematics, Rochi Group and Icarus would experiment experience a developmental setback of ten years. Our interrogation process with Dr. Newert requires reevaluation due to recent events. I appreciate your assistance in this matter. So, they interviewed his mother, or they were going to, so they might have kidnapped him, but I still, I stand by the idea that the witch is, is Cynthia, probably. Oh, there's a whole bunch, too. So let's see how this goes. Thank you, Mr. Chandra. Here's the personal, or here's the information you requested. Note, raw video feed is also available upon request. Servers on Argus store your most sensitive information worlds away. That way, you and your business can focus on the things most important. Security, safety, Argus. All eyes on you. Okay. The radio transmission. I can't accept this. Agent, your colleagues at the university that deserve the extra facilities. The Cynthia Newert Center for Mathematical Studies has a nice ring to it. Cynthia, as I've stated previously, no. I'm not interested in a sponsorship program or... We are willing to pro provide whatever you ask. Money, resources, equipment. A safe, happy home for your family. We... No, get out of my house. Thank you for your time, Dr. Newert. I'm sure you'll see our... It our way soon enough. Okay, so... 918-2041. So, 22 years before. And so, two months later... And then the rest are all in the same day, it looks like. Yeah. 5 a.m., 8 a.m., and then 3 o'clock in the afternoon. All right. So, done that. Where am I? Are you comfortable, Dr. Newert? I'm leaving, and I'm contacting the authorities. You can't keep me detained here. Orochi has expressed a deep interest in your research. Each time you publish a new novel, you expose your knowledge to an even wider audience. The recklessness is unfortunate. Some questions never have answers. Where did you find these theories? How do you know about the dimensional rift? I'm a professor of quantum mathematics. Did you find an artifact, a tome, a conduit to Agartha? What are you hiding from us? I don't know what you're talking about. I have nothing. You can't refuse us, Cynthia. Neighbors are noticing. It's the work. We understand. But consider, a mother with, a, with dangerously erratic behavior, dissociative episodes, auditory hallucinations, isolation. What? We would hate to report... Something that would get your son taken away. Screw you. Now, now, Dr. Newert. You've had some time to think now. I trust you've considered what I... Agent Chandler. How do you know my... How did she know my name? Dennis Chandler, your favorite color is blue. You have a wife named Delilah and a daughter named Hazel. Hazel had a nasty fall today. You'll learn soon. You. The bones will mend, but not always. Listen, you... All... Okay, so she's casting a spell. Yeah, I think she's the witch. So yeah, she's chanting stuff. Approximate phonetic transmission or transcription. Sounds of straining, choking. I know an equation, Dennis. I wrote it on your shadow with my tongue. 
you will not visit me again. Do you understand, Dennis? If I find you or Orochi following my family, I will do things to your wife and daughter that will make you sweat blood. Now open the door. So, running theory is the mother got ripped into a rift or something. Maybe she had to flee. Maybe any number of things happened, but she's probably the witch that's haunting everyone. He managed to get a ha his hands on the main character as kind of a, of a replacement, but now that the main character's here, his mother's protecting him again. Ish. Yeah, she might have mathed too, too hard. She probably had the Necronomicon, which is what she was using. Yeah, this place got wrecked, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Bad boy busted out of that window. But did it take the elevator Shane, up? Shane, the gate is opening. Get over here ASAP. You have to see this. Do we want to go to the research lab? Go to Icarus. But he wanted... Uh... I'll meet you there. But there's something I have to find out first. Oh. You're all alone, little one. Sometimes I feel alone, too. We're both alone here. Together. I wonder how long this game is. Like, it feels like I'm at the halfway point, maybe? Looking at it, I've got 14 out of 23 achievements, so I might be a little bit more than that. Interesting. I might... I might just kind of focus on this game tonight. We might be able to beat it in one sitting, which would actually be very satisfying. Yeah, sweet disco. As long as we don't have the murder bots and the security cameras anymore, I am happy with whatever. Except for maybe the horror mission. They horror hide creature. like rats under the floorboards. Stick to the temples where they cannot. I have seen where they root. Slither like snakes amongst the leaves. This is about eight hours. Cool. Uh, that's more blood and shoes. So there are people here. Or were. Because that's a handprint. With a lot of blood. Yeah, five to seven hours. That's a good length for these kinds of games. Longer than that, it tends to outstay its welcome. You need stuff like Prey to really keep that going. But I've appreciated this so far. It truly is... Icar... My 